Hi Eric here from Laser Skin Europe, this is Laser Skin TV and this series is the short series, uh, we call them uh, Messbus in German. I speak about uh, low cost uh, uh, slam scanners and what they can do for the market and maybe this low cost slam scanners and what you can do with them is a game changer and if you like to be interested, is this true or not true, uh, what, what can be in the future, stay tuned. I was on Intergeo last uh, week um, and there was uh, uh, many new systems shown to the public entry market cost slam scanner. Basically, um, we I can explain it to you on um, two scanners, but I think there are over 10 on the market. And one is the x scanner. They have Most of them have the, this DJI sensor inside, or all of them have from the low cost have the DJI sensor and some cameras um, here for colorization and for visual slam. And another one, what we tested, is this one have the same DJI sensor, but have not been integrated, have an external camera in this system, like an on top panel camera. So that's what we are doing. Uh, the price range in dollars is maybe twelve, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000. So regarding $70,000 or the expensive actual SLAM systems, okay, they have better accuracy, but there was the entry like sixty, eighty, one hundred thousand dollars $100,000 for a SLAM scanner. Now we have these very uh, uh, systems for a very good price. So, and the interesting, what I like to show you, what we can do with uh, this kind of systems. And for this, I uh, have now some data from Xquid. Xquid was the first manufacturer who show technology what they can use with their scanner. The technology is, uh, they call them Gaussian 3D splatting. Basically, it is something um, coming from the virtual reality, so photogrammetry. It's you can do the Gaussian if you have a lot of pictures and you need for the pictures an orientation. So and uh, usually uh, normally they generate from many overlapping picture with photogrammetry and a 3D model. Then they know the reprojection of the pictures and the orientation, and then they can um, make a 3D model with Gaussian. So you make the same, but we have the advantage with the slam scanner. We already, I can show you, have a point cloud from our LiDAR system. And then we can use this integrated camera and make this reprojection of these pictures. And with the Gaussian, it's like a, it's like an ellipsoid stuff in 3D. And they can balance with weight neighbors. And this gives us the opportunity that if you move, you can calculate virtual pictures to your viewpoint, where is no picture taken, and this gives you a really realistic 3D view. And this we see here in the scene. This is our boost from the Intergeo. Unfortunately, I've forgotten my mouse and I have to stitch a little bit with my with my fingers here. And, but um, here we are, I have to jump out. So that's that's our boost here with this with these quad car and uh but the, we um measure here the complete hole i think my my colleague make a walk through from maybe i don't know 15 minutes with this lixel k1 system and we got this really amazing uh, results out which gives gives us really a very good virtual impression um here from the um from this um from this intergeo also this looks super realistic also the quality of the picture maybe I, I have to check if my colleague was also here yeah you see but i think uh, if you are not uh, too close and you not have such good pictures then you don't have the best results but if we are looking back to this um in the middle here this one looks really awesome or here these autodesk booths but it's re really amazing what you get out here from a, uh, automatically from the ten thousand uh, um, or fifteen thousand dollar device. So I think that's that's give it a lot of opportunities. Um, I have to say that this view what we see was uh, is now integrated from Xquid here. It's an it's, uh, open source technology. What a producer can implement it or adapt to their stuff it was not founded by them. They take this technology was is quite new, like two three years uh, on the market. And quick implemented with their product line so and uh, but i find it super interesting and then if you spend more time it will be give you more advantage like now we have the people inside if you can take them out and i don't know maybe there's something possible so with computer stuff and uh, we can have them easily 3d real virtuality views 
and there will be some interesting development in next time so I, I don't see this so far away so and and I had a option to talk with one of the CEOs and technical guys and ask them for the vision for what we're doing in 10 years and this was really crazy what the guys told me but um, um, on the side uh, with these Gaussian 3D um, um, uh, splitting uh, I maybe get a very good interview uh, partner uh, to give us more background for the people there, more the tech guys. So, uh, yeah, and if you not like to miss this, uh, then stay tuned, uh, then like our channel and subscribe the channel. Bye bye, Eric.